Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this makeup look, I used three pictures to look at while I was doing my makeup. So these are the three pictures that I was technically inspired by, but the entire reason I did this look is for my sister's birthday. She absolutely loved Gravedigger, so yeah. Going in with the makeup, I'm using the eyeshadow primer by MAC. This is in the shade Painterly, and this is one of their paint pots, and I am just applying this with my finger all over my entire eyelid, and then I will blend that out with a sponge that is dampened. Make sure it's damp or you will just pick up all the product and not have an even base. And then for the eyeliner, the main eyeliner that I'm going to be using for the sketch is this gray one by Stila. This is one of their felt tip eyeliners. And I am pretty much just going to let you guys watch how I do this because I can't really explain. I am just looking at the pictures and going off of that. So I will just let you guys watch this and have a little bit of music in the background. And yeah, enjoy it. So basically to begin with, I'm just starting off with the body of the monster truck and just sketching that out to begin with. And then I will go in and add detail and colors later on. But right now I am just sketching out the main perimeter of the actual monster truck. I've never tried drawing a vehicle on my eyes before with makeup. So this is very interesting for me to see how far I've come in the makeup industry because I would have never even thought to try a makeup look like this if I wasn't inspired by so many different artists. There's literally so much talent in the world. There is room for everyone. So if you feel like you can't do this kind of makeup look or any simple makeup look in general, you just got to keep practicing and just believe that you can do it. I started off really really bad at makeup and really bad at drawing in general. I was never really good at drawing anything on a piece of paper but once I mastered the talent of blending I started doing more artistic looks and I love them so much. You just have to believe that you can do it and practice as much as you can and you will master the art of makeup. It's really, really simple if you just keep practicing. That is what I stress the most. So once I got done with the base of the vehicle and added a little bit of detail on the bottom portion, I'm gonna go in and add more color and detail. So I'm going in with this green eyeliner from Stila to create the effect of fire and add a little bit more of that green detailing just around the inside of the vehicle and then we're going to go in and take this matte black liquid liner from nyx and add some black detailing around the skull and then with the same brand nyx i'm taking their matte white liquid liner and adding a little bit more detail this skull didn't come out as good as i wanted it to but that's okay it's the power of makeup you can literally do whatever you want and then i'm adding this ray of moon with the white and then going around the perimeter of the vehicle where we placed the gray eyeliner and i am just applying the black liquid eyeliner So I'm going to take that black eyeliner and make the tires a little bit bigger or at least appear to be a little bit bigger 
and that's going to make it actually look like a monster truck rather than just an actual truck with big tires. So this eyeliner is supposed to be red, but it comes off more of like a fuchsia pink, but I am just adding a little bit more detail with that. And then I am going in with the black eyeliner and making the tombstones on the truck and adding a little bit more random detail. Then I'm going back in with the white eyeliner to add a little bit more detail to the tires to make them look a little bit more realistic. And then I'm going in with some purple eyeliner to make a haze type of look to the vehicle. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette and take the lighter green and the darker green shade and just apply a little bit of this to the entire vehicle with a really small brush. I got this brush in BoxyCharm, but I believe it's by the brand Luxie Brushes. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, so I'm just adding the green and then I'm going to go in with the black shade and mix a little bit of the green and add this around the entire monster truck and this is going to make it look neon whenever I add the white eyeliner and then I'm going to add a little bit of the neon green on top of that white so it looks like a neon sign behind it pretty much. And this didn't come out as good as I wanted it to. I was picturing it to look a lot more neon, like the neon eyeliner that everybody has done. But that was my goal, and I tried it, and yeah, that's what I did. And then after blending all the eyeshadow, I lost that black color of the eyeliner to outline the truck. So I'm just going back in with that eyeliner and going around the perimeter of the truck to make it stand out. And then I'm going to go in with some more white eyeliner and just add a little bit more detail where I feel like it needs a little bit more detail like around the moon, the tombstones, and the tires. Okay, so that eye is done except for the lower lash line and mascara, but I'm going to move on to the other eye. And for that, I am going in with the shade Single, which is a light lavender purple from the Morphe James Charles eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to blend this out with a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40. And I am just going to pack that all over the lid and blend it out through the crease. And then I'm going to take a darker purple called Escape with my It Cosmetics blending brush and I'm going to focus this shade more into the crease and blend it out. And then I'm going to go back in with that shade single just to blend out that darker purple. And then I'm going to take more of the shade single and use a very light amount of this to blend out that line at the very top. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth until it is completely blended to my liking. And then I'm going to take another NYX liquid liner, and this is their Vivid Brights in the shade Yellow. And I'm going to use this for the flames. And then I'm going to go back in with that green eyeliner to add a little bit more color to the flames. And then back in with the yellow to add some more fiery detailing. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara, and I'm applying this heavily to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm going to take that dark green shade and apply that to the lower lash line 
with a smudger brush from Morphe and I'm applying that on both under eyes. And then I'm going to take one of my favorite inner corner highlights and this is the shade Ring Light. I'm going to apply this to my brow bone as well as the inner corners of my eye to highlight. And then I decided to do this off camera, but I added GD for Grave Digger on the top of the flames for the other eye. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys really love it. I'm going to do a lot more artistic looks, so stay tuned. On our way to the Monster Jam right now. We are going to surprise my mom. And I'm just going to show her my makeup and see if she can guess where we're going. What do you guys think? Beware of World Wheels. Nope. Oh. Monster truck. Monster truck. Monster truck. I, I, I thought it was called World Wheels. It's Monster 